Alright guys, how's it going? So they've finally implemented volume to mesh in the latest daily build and this is pretty cool to be honest. Now I've downloaded the experimental build for today so it's pretty damn fresh and I'm going to show you a few things you can actually do with it. Now we'll abuse the default cube like we normally do and I'll just select the cube, I'll go to object and I'll do a quick effect and I'll do a quick smoke effect and I'll just hit play in the timeline to see what we're getting. Perfect. Nice quick smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select the smoke domain, I'll come to the physics property tab and I'm going to bake the cache. Now one thing you're generally best doing is just quickly saving the scene so I'll go to file, save as and in traditional fashion we'll call this untitled one. <laughs> so you can now see that I can actually bake. Now I'm going to set the cache directory on the desktop and I'll just put it in here. I'll hit accept, frame 1 to frame 250. I'm exporting as an open VDB and what I can do here is I can press F3 on the keyboard and I can search for fluid bake all and I'll just bake all the fluids and it takes two seconds to be honest. Now I don't necessarily need any of this data, what I can do is I can quickly delete this and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add, I'm going to add in a volume and I'm going to import an open VDB. Now you don't necessarily need to do this step but it kind of speeds up the workflow a little bit. I'll go to test. I'll then go into the data and you can see here I have the baked VDB sequence and I'll just hit import open VDB. Now what I need to do here is I need to go to the object data properties and you can see here open VDB and I'll make this a sequence. And what I'll do here is it's 250 frames so I'll make it 250 and let's see what we get. Perfect. Now we can actually take a look at the volume to mesh modifier. So what I'm going to now do is add in another object and we'll use this as the volume to mesh. So I'm just going to quickly add in, we'll just add in a cube, why not? I'll then come to the modifier settings, I'll go to add modifier, volume to mesh, and I'll select the fluid data. And you can see here, it's now converted it into a volume. How cool is that? <laughs> Check this out. Perfect. Now we can also take this up a step, so we can add in another modifier, and let's just put in something like a remesh modifier. Now, this has changed it to voxel, so it's nice and smooth, it's like, kind of like water. <laughs> but I'm going to change this to blocks, I'm going to put the octal depth up just a little bit. And now we have this kind of Minecraft smoke. Now one thing we might need to do is still hide the kind of smoke simulation. It's still technically in the background, you're still going to see that smoke. So we can actually just enable the toggles and disable in the render viewport. And when I hit F12, let's see what we get. Perfect. This is so cool and it's the volume to mesh modifier. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.